Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbinalcoins.com for the cheapest and fastest coins anywhere. Use code ZERK for 15% off your order. And if you guys want to compete in tournaments for cash prizes, make sure to check out tourneycrypt.com. What's going on guys? It's Zerx coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we have got the new legend Andre Reed currently on the team. Uh, I know people are going to ask about his abilities. I have actually got Route Technician, Streak Specialist, and I want to say that I have In Specialist on him as well. Uh, and then the X Factor of course is going to be Moss, but he's got 91 speed, 91 jumping, 92 catching, 94 catch trapping, 91 spectacular catch, he's got 94 short of course, I've got West Coast, I think actually, uh, yeah, tier 3 now with him actually in the lineup because he does give times 3, which is just like the one thing I'm missing in order to get that one final West Coast guy. But he also has 84 deep route running. Uh, the card overall looks pretty good. He's got 53 run blocking as well. And then after he gets the ball in his hand, he's got 87 juke with 83 spin, 77 stiff arm, 55 impact block. So we can run block. He's 6'2", which isn't, you know, the tallest human in the game, but that's still pretty dang good. Good catch and traffic, which I really think catch traffic is more important than spec catches here. I don't really like do jump balls i more so throw passes that make people have to take a hit from a safety or something sometimes so catch and traffic to me really really important i'm actually very very excited to see what this andre reed card can do but if you guys want to see more gameplays make sure you drop a like on the video and comment down below who else do you guys want to see gameplay with you can see i did make a ton of changes to the team we've got andrew luck we have kittle we got joe thomas uh, i'm gonna be hopping into weekly for this gameplay as well here's the defense we got Deion sanders now over on defense it is pretty dang stacked Let's get into it. Looking to take your game of Madden 20 to another level? Check out Hot Route Tips and get access to ebooks, tips, and schemes from Madden pros. Use code ZERK for 10% off. Let's dominate Weekend League. Now, so guys, this is a Weekend League game, and I believe that's my top three I want to say. At least I hope that is, and that's my opponent's top three. Also want to say that my opponent actually did just shoot me an Xbox message and said... He's a big fan, so shout out to you, my guy, if you're watching this video. Let's see who's going to be open, though. Andre Reed. Oh, he knows I'm looking for Andre Reed. I'm going to try and reroute him up the field. Actually, no, I'm going to throw the Andre Reed still, and we get sacked. I actually had Andre Reed open. We just couldn't get him the ball in time, unfortunately. I'm going to try and see if we can get him open here in an hour. Obviously, because this is an Andre Reed gameplay, you guys already know, I am going to force feed the ball to Andre Reed. I don't care if he's double covered. He's getting the ball. Andre Reed out route. Can he get that catch? Good catch. Okay. I really didn't think he'd be able to come down with that, but a great catch there from Andre Reed. And let's just try the same thing. Another out route to Andre Reed. See if he can get open. And I threw that terrible timing. That was absolutely awful. Do not put that on Andre Reed. That was just really bad timing by me. All right, it's my first game of the day. So, you know, we're, we're just warming up a little bit. It's also a weekend league game. So, pretty important that we win. But I also want to try and force feed Andre Reed. He's got Melvin Gordon. Got to shut him down. I'd say I've played a few games of Weekend League so far. I think I'm like 7-2. and two, And Deion Sanders has been playing exceptionally good for me so far. I mean, he has made a lot of plays. He's got Gronk in the backfield. Also has Corey, the fullback, on the backfield as well. Looks like he's actually be passing the ball. Watching out for some slants. Watching out for Gronk. And he does go to Andre Reid, who doesn't catch that one. So I guess you guys get to see what my Andre Reed does and also what his Andre Reed does. I'm expecting a corner out here to read. He also does have Tyreek Hill though, so we have to watch out for him. Watching out over the middle, Andre Reed. He didn't get the first down. So he's playing it smart. He is going to take his three, so a bad mistake by me, but we held him to three points. We get another chance here with Andre Reed, and it's gonna be three nothing him. Oh, Tyreek Hill on the kick return. I love the return specialist ability. It is so dang good. And Tyreek Hill has put up seven points. And that's why I use my abilities on Tyreek Hill now instead of Randy Moss because he gets that kickoff special. And I actually had two kick returns in a game early yesterday. Tyreek Hill is just the ultimate weapon. I feel like you need to have him on every single team. My opponent actually does have him as well. And he's got a uh, kick return specialist as well. So I'm watching over the middle. He does go to Andre Reid. And Pat Tillman just stood there. Pat Tillman just stood there and let that ball go right over his head to Andre Reid. I, I have no idea what just happened there. Looks like my opponent's going back to the pass. Watching out for Andre Reid. Watching out for that corner out. That should be picked. And Pat Pete stood there too. All right, well, that's two plays in a row. My defender literally just stood there. Luckily, my user was over there to make a play, but Pat Pete just straight up did not move. I don't know what's going on. Watching over the middle. He's going to be chucking up to the sidelines. Dion! Okay, luckily he didn't catch that. 
if there is one cornerback on my team I feel so comfortable with and so safe over there, it is 110% Deion Sanders. I mean, that man is just locked down. Andre Reed versus Denzel Ward. He gets open. Okay. Well, at least you guys are getting double the Andre Reed gameplay. His Andre Reed already has three catches. Mine, I believe, only has one catch so far, as it looks like it's probably going to be a motion of some sort, and that is going to be a big time play. Third and 15, I am running man to man again, and I've actually got Deion Sanders now manned up on Andre Reed. So let's see how he does. And I actually had him shaded to the outside, and Andre Reed actually burned him as Gronk is making that catch against Dawkins. Dang it. All right, good play, I guess, by him. I, I thought Dawkins was going to make a play on that, but now he's down to the 28 yard line. I'm kind of expecting a run. Let's see, he's motioning out Gronk. Let's see if he's just doing that to run the ball to the inside, I guess. And it looks like, yeah, it's exactly what he's doing, and that didn't work out too well. We've done a pretty solid job of containing his run. I mean, he's ran four times for three yards in Melvin Gordon as he's going back to the run game here. And again, we're shutting it down. And also, I get asked about what playbooks am I running. I'm running the Jets defense. And on offense, I'm actually using the Patriots. But I'm using the Dolphins uh, scheme you guys can find over on Hot Route. Same thing with defense. You guys can find that over on Hot Route out of the Jets defense. Third and seven, though. Let's see who's going to go to. Watching out for Andre Reed. He's actually taking off here. Lawrence Taylor with the sack. Let's go. Now we've got to see what Andre Reed can do out here on the offensive side of the ball. I'm looking for him down the field, but I don't think he's going to be open. We actually have got Kittle. We ride him up the field. Kittle, great catch. I'm trying to find Andre Reed open, but he's doing a very good job of containing him. I feel like he knows we're probably doing a gameplay with Andre Reed, who gets open down the field, and great catch. All right, it's third and 20 now, and it's not looking so good. I'm straight up looking for Andre Reed in this out route, which I don't believe is going to be open. He's setting a blitz, and we're going to have to settle for three. So we haven't really seen Andre Reed do a whole lot, but it's really not his fault. It's just my opponent knows that this is an Andre Reed gameplay, and he's trying to cover Andre Reed. Still, we've gotten a couple catches, and he made a very good catch in traffic, though. He's going to be running the ball here with Melvin Gordon, who is going to pick up that first down, I think. Seven rushes for 12 yards, though. We're actually playing very, very good run defense, as it's probably going to be looking for Tyreek Hill in the middle. We might get a sack. He's got to throw that away. We have done an extremely good job of containing Russell Wilson as well, as Melvin's going to fumble, and we get the recovery. Let's go. That is exactly what we needed to happen. Now let's see if we can find Andre Reed on this corner route, which I don't think he's going to be open because you can see he's trying to use her beta, and we're just going to go hit the flats. Evan Ingram picking up a first down, down to the 29. And I just realized we do not have my abilities activated on Andre Reed. It took me this long to realize that Andre Reed does not have abilities on him, but we might be to get in the ball there. Andre Reed down to the four. My opponent played some very, very good defense, so unfortunately we did not punch it into the end zone. And I think this is like the third gameplay I've done this year where I forgot to put abilities or activate the abilities on the player I wanted to get a gameplay with. Since I don't have abilities on Andre Reed, though, it's almost kind of like how I'm sure a lot of people are going to run it. I doubt people are actually going to put abilities on Andre Reed. So you're kind of just seeing what stock legend Andre Reed can actually do. I'm sure most people would probably rather have it on like Randy Moss or Tyreek Hill, anyways, as Melvin Gordon, again, is not going anywhere. We've held Melvin Gordon to nine carries for 26 yards, and I gotta say, I feel pretty dang good about that, seeing how good the run game is this year. Second and eight, looks like he's gonna be doing a play action. Watch out for Andre Reed. Coming back across the middle, Andre Reed's gonna be open, actually. Dion! Ah, not quick enough. Okay, so we've seen this play. We know he's probably gonna go to Gronk here, so I'm watching out for Gronk. And what's he gonna go to? He's chugging at me, money me, beat Dawkins! Wow, what a play, Andre Reed. Third and goal from the five. What's he going to go to? QB draw. That's a risky play call. And he's down to the three. All right. Once again, Andre Reed looks like he's not going to be open there on that out route. I don't really see anything too open. Andre Reed actually is open now. Deep down the field. Andre Reed. Big time play. Let's go. He just completely broke free there. And you know what? I actually might just try to throw this to him. I, I know he's going to try and user cover it though. Watch, right? He's going to use it. Yep. He absolutely, of course, he's going to user cover it. Let's see if Andre Reed's going to get open here. I don't think he's going to. I'm trying to lead him to the outside. We're just going to take off your luck. We had a spin hoop and picked up a gain of seven. All right, it's third and three. I'm going to attempt to get this ball to Andre Reed, but you guys can see he is trying his very hardest to stop me from doing so. So I'm just going to take off your right bumpers wide open. Tyreek Hill for the touchdown. I actually almost just scrambled it with Andrew Luck, and I would have had 100 comments saying at this point in the video, right bumper wide open for a touchdown. But there's only 3 minutes and 45 seconds left. I feel like Andre might have like close to 100 yards to me as he's chugging up to Andre Reed himself. Are you serious? Andre Reed is a monster. I don't know what it is, but this guy's Andre Reed is incredible. Mine's pretty good too, but his is just on another level, man. It's ridiculous. He's going to take off here and find a TL. I thought it was Andre Reed for the two-point conversion. 
He straight up just did not care, chucked it up to Andre Reed, who was one-on-one -on -one with Brian Dawkins, and he luckily came down with that. We're going to try to run the ball here, show off Andre Reed's run blocking, which wasn't too good there. We definitely have to try to chew clock a little bit because, like I said, this is a weekly game, so it's extremely important that I win this game, but I'm still going to try and force feed Andre Reed when we pass the ball. He actually does get some good blocks there, and we pick up the first down. Okay, Reed, let's see if he gets one-on-one -on -one coverage down the field, which looks like he did it, but Kittle's going to be wide open in the flats here, and he's going to pick up that first down and go down. So my opponent played pretty great defense, fourth and 20. We are going to punt this ball. I obviously can't go for this, need to win this game. Let's see if I can punt it, though. Oh, crap, I wanted to punt it out of bounds, honestly. Tyree Kill's picking it up at the 10-yard line, and he's going to have a pretty big return. Tyree Kill all the way down to the 30. So Russell Wilson also has his ability activated, which I don't know what it is. So I'm a little bit scared. Andre Reed. Are you kidding me? I really do not want to sell out for the run here because I feel like if I sell for the run, he's just going to bomb it on me and get an easy touchdown. Let's see what he does. He might... I think he's going to pass this. I really don't think he's going to run here. I feel like he knows exactly what I'm doing. So I'm going to actually put up a QB spy. And no, he actually did run the ball and he didn't get the first down. Let's go. All right, third and three. This is probably a run and it is going to be a run play. We're shutting it down. I'm calling my timeout. We're going to get this ball back. Okay, 23 seconds left. We got to do something. I actually should sub in Tyree Kill here instead of Torrey Holt so I can run him on a streak route, but it's okay as I don't think he's going to be open. But we do have Andre Reed open across the middle. Andre Reed paid him a big game. That's huge. So Andre Reed has actually got five catches for 112 yards, so he's had a solid game for sure. I don't know what my opponent's going to go to. I'm actually I'm a little bit worried here. I can't lie, obviously. With this much time, if you have to be worried, it's Andre Reed once again is going to be open. Andre Reed, great catch. Did he get out of bounds? Yes, he did. Andre Reed with the game winning catch 11 seconds left. We're gonna try and kick this Let's see if we can make it Please I got Justin Tucker. There's no way we don't make this. Oh I'm so scared. All right, so I squib kicked it. He's got two seconds left So he absolutely has to go to the end zone here. I almost messed up that kick by the way I would have been so mad. He's chucking it up. Can we get the interception? I thought he was gonna catch it. We ended up coming away with the W for most of that game, my opponent was actually doing an extremely good job of shutting down Andre Reed. His Andre Reed had seven catches for 197 yards and a touchdown. My Andre Reed had six catches for 135 yards and zero touchdowns. But I have to say, both of those Andre Reeds impressed me, right? I mean, his Andre Reed has a crazy catch. My Reed had a pretty good catch in traffic. And the final two plays of the game, he was wide open on that little post route to win the game. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure you guys drop a like on the video. Uh, big shout out to this guy as well. I know you're a sub, so shout out to you. That was an incredible, incredible game. Thankfully, we came with the W. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time.